<sighs> Lovely grass, white fence, birds, creek, grill. Ooh, yes, blues. So I thought we would uh, come outside. It's a nice day and put you up top the highest spot I can find, which just happens to be this umbrella. So thought you guys want to see what I'm doing. farther down. Alright, so just a few minutes ago we were out in the back lot climbing some new topsoil hills and rock gravel. It's uh, quite fun. Had uh, eight, nine foot tall gravel hills probably saw him in the last video. So, so as you can see it took a little bit but we got up there. They're pretty steep. I mean 45 and up, that's pretty good. Oh, gotta show you under the hood. Oh no. Alright, don't tell nobody. That's nothing special. Just a little dirty. Oop. Yeah, you don't need to see his butt, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Alright. This was washed an hour ago. This happens in about a half an hour. So... That's what we get with fine topsoil weeds. Alright, so... We have a problem underneath the chassis looks like the uh, screw holds the drive shaft here has come out so I'll have to uh, dig through the box find the Loctite Teakin back in, 35 heavy duty. Uh, a little bit slower, but that 13 turn, wow. A monster, really. It's gonna tear the rubber off this thing. It was fast. Alright, so enough talking. We'll uh, take the battery out first, unplug it. Set that aside. You notice the, the battery placement as low as I can go to the front, front of the axle. I also have more weight in the front tires than the rear. You know, it really looks like you can't see anything over here. It's, uh, I should give you a little twist. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. about where I thought it'd be. Go down a little more. Try to. There you go. You can see it a little better. <clears throat> yeah, so you want to get a lot of weight if you're climbing and uh, going downhill. 
looking for some traction. You want some more weight, not a lot, but most of it towards the front. Uh, I'm running a, a stiff front end right now because of the terrain I was going through. You know, deep, loose soil, just needed to, to keep that front bumper from digging down and getting caught, just let the tires work themselves out. Um, same with the rear, it's not as, as taut, you know, it does have some give there, but, but the front is, is quite a bit more. So, just stock oil, springs, all stock except for the, the lipo and light controllers. 35 turbo. Gotta have that. Um, I did have a, a full teak in the ESC and motor, but the ESC um, waterproofing wasn't wasn't quite enough on the Zeta. Get another one real quick. I did that, so you know, probably just leave all the electronics alone. And uh, yes, it's duct tape. I know. Just get right into fixing this. So, what we need to do is get the pin. Oh, oh, good thing that I stopped to check this. I'll bring you down and show you. See, uh, <coughs> part of my sniffles. Got some bad allergies right now. But, uh, let's see if I can get in there. In the, the drive shaft. Yeah, you can't really see. Come on, focus. See that? See how it's, uh... It's sticking out, you know? It's backed out, definitely. I can see lots of thread on that. That can go back in. See the other side? It's flush. That side's flush. That's the side I need to take out. But the, the rear is starting to work its way out, so... We're just gonna go ahead and take it off and retighten the drive shaft to the yoke and then just do it for both the front and the rear just does a preventative maintenance there you know one side comes off you really don't want the other side happening right after so let's uh like I said get started here. Start backing this out. Yeah, see, even the, the front yoke wasn't even that tight in there, so Loctite must have been an old bottle. Yep, yep. This one is just sitting in there. It just spun right out. So, we'll uh, get that off. It's nice and hot because I drove from the other side of the lot and two wheel drive all the way here. Probably not good for it, but yeah, it was fun. So, a lot of people were saying the early generation axial SCX10s. Um, had a problem with the opposite side slipping the pin from the actual joint of the yoke whereas they've come up with this plastic slip cover to slide right over that and that's all all really took um, a lot of guys I see will put a little bit of electrical tape just one or two wraps right around that both are just fine Enough talking, Brandon. We'll uh, slip this cover. No, we'll leave the cover off. Put the screw back down in there. Hope that it. Ooh, actually, I want to clean this threads on this thing. It's a little rusty in there. So. Okay. Correct size and uh, lift that thing back in there. Nope. 
one thing about working outside I found today is you drop a screw or a bolt or even a washer. Shoot, I dropped I dropped the spring for the brushes. That little retaining spring. Dropped it. Yeah. Luckily I have it spare. And the grub screws. Minuscule, tiny, smaller than these. Just the head. Gone. Learned my lesson there, so. Just wanted to point that out to everybody. Looks like. <laughs> I might have a problem. Yes, Brandon, we know you have a problem. Everybody has problems. Well, my problem is this is not long enough to reach the end. See my problem? We'll have to make do what we do. Okay, now I can't even get it in there. Yeah, right in there. Probably a jer dirty joke in there somewhere. So, into metal but it's cinching down, tightening down on the plastic. So take this other one off. Like I said you don't want to be you never be too careful. You know, drive straps. Just like today. You come loose. That's it. You're done. You gotta come back to shop. that screw in here. Doesn't look like it needs to be tightened down. Let's go check. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Um, actually, it's supposed to have a little breathing hole there.
Switch back to the smaller bit. Grab the screw back in. Now, before you go screaming, oh, you forgot your log tie. I know. I just remembered it's probably too old. So, I'm just going to put this back together, put it on the shelf, and buy some log tie. back on that way I know everything's here you know when I get around to it and everything's in its proper place raccoon family downstairs, you know, one that's always keeping you up at night, digging through your trash. Have any more issues? We are making a mess. Get back out on the trail. That light didn't work, anyways. Two body pins. You're uh, set to go back. Oh, thanks for watching.